Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel where we talk about skincare, grooming, and sometimes hair, so if that sounds like your thing, make sure you are subscribed. Also, come and follow me on Instagram where I post a lot of stuff you're not gonna see here on YouTube. I'm a bit quiet today, it's the evening, and I thought now would be a good time to share with you my evening routine. I just wanna apologize for the really boring backdrop again. I have this whole like vanity area set up in front of me. I thought it'd be cool to kind of shoot it through the mirror um, or have it in the background, but but it is nine o'clock at night and I just can't set that up just now. So I'll have an interesting background for you in the next video. But yeah, I just thought I'd really kind of casually talk through my evening routine. Just kind of show you what I'm using at the moment. So first things first, I use these little hair Velcros. Even though my hair is swept out on my face when I wash my hair, it just tends to like fall in my face. So I use these to kind of just keep everything out of the way. Um, as you can see, I'm very shiny. I actually haven't been at the house today. I had a lot of stuff to do around the house. So this is my um, day oil, I guess you can say. I'm gonna double cleanse just to show you what I do on like a more regular daily basis. So I double cleanse to remove sunscreen, um, pollution, day dirt, day grease, all that kind of stuff. So the cleanser I'm using at the moment is the Then I Met You Living Cleansing Balm, which along with the other cleanser is now available on socoglam.com. So you can get it shipped internationally. I know when I did my review of this, this was one of the main um, qualms was that it was only available in the US, so now it is available everywhere, which is good. I've been using this very, very often, but you do really only need the tiniest amount, like that. I do have a mirror in front of me there, so I'll be looking there. This is too much. I do this every single time. I get carried away because I like the spatula, and I use way too much on my skin. I'm just going to give that a gentle massage in. I like to really get this on my eyebrows as well and also on my beard because it has like a nice kind of like um, conditioning feel to it as well. My beard always feels really soft after. As you can see, this rubs in so easily and look like very, very gently as well. There's barely any kind of like um, tug on the skin. I don't feel like it's pulling at the eyes either, which is nice. Don't forget your lips. If I was about to jump in the shower and I wasn't filming a YouTube video, I would bring this down to my neck, but I am sat at my desk in my room, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna emulsify this now with a bit of um, warm water. Okay, so we are gently emulsifying. This doesn't foam up as much as other um, cleansing balms that I've used, but I don't feel like it does any less of a job. Why do my eyes look so yellow? Weird. And then I'm gonna rinse away. Okay, then onto damp skin, my normal cleanser. This is the Matcha Hemp Hydrating Cleanser, of course, from Crave. I use this all the time. A lot of you were asking for a comparison between the Crave Cleanser and the Then I Met You Cleanser. I think they're very, very different, um, but both equally very, very good. I feel like the Then I Met You one um, did help me a lot more as far as breakouts go, but the Crave Matcha Hemp Hydrating Cleanser is just like a really good all year round, every day, all skin type kind of cleanser. And as you can see, I've gone back to the Crave Cleanser, so I obviously prefer it um, in some ways, but I would still recommend the Then I Met You one if you can get your hands on it for sure. Again, if I wasn't doing this at my desk, I'd go onto my neck. And then we are gonna rinse away. Okay, so after I cleanse, I always keep my face damp. I don't use a towel anymore for my face. And then with the toner, I also don't use a cotton pad. Um, so I'm gonna kind of dry my face with the toner and I feel like you get more hydrating benefits from that as well. So this is the Squeeze Green Watery Toner. I love this, you know I love the cream. Um, I don't know, just the whole range feels so hydrating. If you're familiar with my videos, you know that I like to try and apply a toner within 10 seconds of washing my face or coming out of the shower. This is the 10 second rule. And apparently it stops your face from drying out. And I have to say, I do feel a difference. If you know you come out of the shower and your skin feels all tight and stuff, I don't get that at all if I apply the toner as quick as possible. And then I notice a difference in the overall hydration of my skin in the long term as well. So I do just do one layer of this on a daily basis. When it comes to the seven skin method, there's no real backing behind um, the idea that it does something, like it provides any extra hydration. But I do like doing it for aesthetic reasons. Um, so I actually filmed a 
like get ready with me light out kind of video where I did do not quite seven skin but I did more of like a three skin method and does kind of just add that extra hydrated glow to your skin. Right, so toner's patted in. If I'm moving on to a serum, I leave my toner a little bit wet. If I'm moving on to a chemical exfoliator, I try and pat it in as much as possible. Um, so I am, of course, going to be using the Crave Beauty Kaola Luya AHA. This is a brand new one. This is one of my overall favorite chemical exfoliators. I do like a BHA as well. So depending on how my skin is in winter, I'll probably use a BHA maybe once a week. Now we use an AHA once or twice a week as well. So I just take some, I apply it, apply it, I apply it onto a cotton pad or a cotton round, um, and then gently wipe that over my face. Uh, right, while I'm doing this, I am on the hunt for good reusable cotton pads. I ordered some and they felt like um, potato sack material. The other ones were literally just flannel, which I don't want to be rubbing that all over my face. So I'm still finishing the pack that I got a while back, but I'm quickly running out. So please leave your reusable cotton pad suggestions down below because I really need to get my hands on some. Again, I would go on my neck if it was clean, but yeah, just for this routine. I'd go behind my ears. Oh, let's do it anyway. But yeah, the Crave AHA is really good um, if you have sensitive skin as well, in my opinion. When my skin barrier was kind of ruined and I maybe shouldn't have used any chemical exfoliator, that is the one I went for, um, and I really shouldn't have. So technically you don't have to wait after a chemical exfoliator to move on to your next step. However, I find that products do tend to foam up if I use a product too quickly after my chemical exfoliator. So I get this cheap fan I found on Amazon and I just dry my face out with it. Not completely, just a little bit. I give it a helping hand, you know? So of course, this is gonna be no surprise to anyone, but I do take my ordinary niacinamide 10% uh, zinc 1% I've been trying another niacinamide and it's good, but this is still my favorite of all time um, I always mention that it's maybe a little bit tacky on the skin, but you know you're paying five pounds for it So if you want a nicer formula Fuck, so if you do want a nicer formula You're gonna have to fork out for a little bit more money Again I would apply this to my neck. One thing I keep mentioning is the redness on my cheeks, which you can see at certain angles, funnily enough. Um, sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. Luckily, throughout the day when I film, it tends to not be there. But in the evening, especially if I've had a stressful day, um, my rosacea tends to like flare up. And a lot of people have been asking me if niacinamide helps for rosacea. As far as I know, no. Um, but I do like it for the overall appearance of your skin and I feel like it kind of helps camouflage it because of the general um, glow and niceness, niceness it gives your skin. I'm very tired so I do apologize for my lack of actual words. So moving into winter, I'm all about hydration. I know I mentioned last year, all throughout winter I became so dehydrated. I really want to stop that from happening this year. So hyaluronic acid is one of the main things I'll be using in my routine. And I'm really, really liking the Cosrx Triple Hyaluronic Moisture Ample. This has three types of hyaluronic acid in. Um, where are they? Hyaluronic, hyaluronic acid, hydrolyzed hyaluronic acid, um, and sodium hyaluronates. So they can go on all different levels of your skin. So one thing I do like to do, however, is rub this in gently, very, very gently. Pat in gently as well. And then a little tip I read from a dermatologist who I can't remember, but I'm gonna find it for you and I'll link the article below, is to then spray mineral water on your face. So I take this Evian one, I just spritz it. We know hyaluronic acid, oh God, sorry, sorry, sorry. We know hyaluronic acid can take moisture from the air and put it into your skin and vice versa, unfortunately. Um, so adding that little bit of water just gives it that extra boost as well. In one of my videos, I can't remember when I last used that, someone was like, what a waste of money. Uh, no, what did they say? They said um, that Evian water is literally just water. And I'm like, I know, that's exactly what I want. I just want water that's easy to spray on my face. Is it extortionately priced for water in a can? Yeah, it is, but it helps with my routine and I like it. And it's worth not being dehydrated in winter. Honestly, the combination of, I think the Ordinary's Hyaluronic Acid I use and Evian Mineral Water saved my skin 
out of its dehydrated phase. It was the best thing ever. You may have noticed I haven't used an essence. I, I just looked at it here, but of course the Neogen one is the one I'm using at the moment. I often will use that when I'm not using a chemical exfoliator. No real reason to be honest. I just get a bit lazy and wanna skip a step. So that is the reason why. Now, where are we? Moisturizer. So I'm between two at the moment. In the morning, I use my Squeeze Green Watery Gel Cream. Um, and then sometimes in the evening, I use the Cosrx Moisture Power Enriched Cream. But in the evening, I do like to layer up a fair bit. So what I'm gonna do is take the Squeeze Green Watery Gel Cream from E Nature, one of my favorite moisturizers that I've been going on about all the time. Okay, no. All the time, all the time. I love this so much because it's like the perfect lightweight moisturizer for oily skin without sacrificing the hydration and the glow and the moisture. Because I find that a lot of gel based moisturizers for oily skin, not that this is targeting particularly just the oily skin, but a lot of gel based moisturizers sink into the skin in an almost drying way. And I really don't like it. I tend to not like it. But what I like about this, it sinks into the skin without drying. It's still got alcohol in, it's still got all the usual stuff you'll find in a gel moisturizer, which I like, but it just feels so much lighter. And this like dewy glow really does last all day, but it feels like I've got nothing on my skin. I honestly cannot express my love for this moisturizer. Like it, it's so, so good. Okay, so then I'll use a sleeping pack, um, a hydrating one if I feel like my skin does need that little bit of extra hydration, which it does. Um, I'm gonna be using the E Nature Birch Juice Hydro Sleeping Pack. When you think of a sleeping pack or a sleeping mask, you think of these heavy, like rich creams, that always remind me of like anti-aging creams for old people, you know, like oil of Olay and stuff like that. But this one, look, it's so light and you can see the hydration, like, ugh. And it feels so light on the skin as well. One thing I hate about sleeping packs is going to bed and having that like stick to my pillow. And sometimes I'll sleep at an awkward angle to like not, so the pillow's like this and my face doesn't touch it. Um, just for the sheer uncomfortableness of how it feels. But yeah, this just, again, sinks in. Not as quick as the um, the moisturizer, but it is a sleeping pack, so I do want it to have that little bit more thickness to it. It just feels so plump and nice, and my skin feels like there's no like tightness at all. And it just smells so good. E Nature is a brand I wish I discovered literally like three years ago. I love it so, so much. But so far, every single product I'm using from E Nature, I'm really, really liking. I even went back and retried the Arise Toner that I wasn't too keen of, um, that I wasn't too keen of to begin with, but now I really, really like it. I gave it more of a chance and yeah, I really, really like it. So yeah, I don't use eye creams in the evening whatsoever. You'll see that I have two spots up here at the moment. They're actually from, um, I believe, irritation from where my puppies licked me. <laughs> um, I don't, I, I'm not touching them, I'm just leaving them. And that's one thing I tend to do with spots at the moment, is just kind of like not apply anything to them unless they look really, really angry. I just kind of like let them fade and they tend to go overnight if I just carry on as normal. The next thing I do is apply a lip balm or a sleeping mask for my lips. Um, there's one that I'm using religiously all the time, but that's from a brand review I'm doing this week, I think, so that video will be up soon. But I thought I'd share this with you. This is, is it Mimi Box? I do care, plush party berry buttery vitamin C lip mask. It's cute, can you see it? Yeah, um, yeah, it's just a lip mask. I don't really know what it's got in it. Vitamin C and berry by the looks of it. Antioxidant rich hibiscus flower extract and vitamin C to protect lips. I do like this, the berry scent isn't overwhelming. <laughs> It's like the Laneige lip mask. I, I just couldn't stand that like fake berry kind of smell. This actually doesn't have really any scent to it. It just smells like a lip balm. And I do like smother that on. I put loads of this on and I go a little bit around lips as well. Make sure that's all rubbed in. Then a final step I do is hand cream. Um, this is the Aesop Reverence Aromatic Hand Balm. I hate it, but I need to use it up. It smells like a candle that you bought from a gift shop that you regret buying because it smells just like old. 
Does that mean anything to anyone? I think everyone knows what I mean. But yeah, I quite like this. They have like a moisturizer and a cleansing balm as well. Um, so let me know if you like to see a little bit of that. So yeah, now I'm ready for bed. So that was a little bit extensive. As I always say, you don't have to do every step that I do. Obviously the exfoliation step is something I do two to three times a week. I do enjoy doing my skincare. I like sitting here and taking some time to relax and um, just do my skin. But especially now, I have a whole video coming out about it, but I'll talk about how I'm prepping my skin for um, autumn, winter. So yeah, it's important to take those few extra minutes, I believe, on your skin, especially as the weather starts to change. Um, but yeah, let me know if that was interesting or if that was too boring. I usually write like bullet points to talk about, but I didn't in this one. I thought it'd be a little bit more relaxed. And again, I apologize for the boring background. I'm nearly done. I'm nearly set up. But yeah, that is it from me, guys. Um, good night, I guess. Bye.